Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I do appreciate it. I hope your day's going really well. I've got a little street scene that I shot in London, and I take a lot of these kind of photos. They're fun for me. I love the lines, the light, um, that sort of thing. And when I bring my uh, street scenes or street photographs into Luminar 4, I like to do a few things that I find myself doing kind of again and again here in Luminar 4. And I thought I would just walk through a quick and simple workflow for a cityscape street scene kind of shot. So here we go. Here's the base photo. Now I did crop it into the 16 by 9, but just a, a street shot. I like the lines going that way. I like this Prince Regent uh, here and, and of course the people uh, walking across the, uh, the crosswalk toward me. Just kind of a slice of life. Uh, photo from London and after a couple of minutes of quick work here in Luminar 4 I turned it into that so I'll reset these filters and then I'll walk through the steps I took to get that look okay so here is the base photo I'm going to start in canvas tools and go to crop and rotate as you can see it is slightly crooked which is um, unfortunately fairly common for me so you just drag it on the right hand side like that and now I also want to crop it to 16 uh, by 9, not 16 by 10. Let me click the right one. There you go. And what I want to do is I want to make sure I get that Prince Regent uh, name right up here in the top of the frame. And let's see. I'm just going to drag the photo, I think, about like that. I think that looks great. As soon as you're finished, just click Done, and it'll take you back to your main editing window. This is when I usually click over here to the Filters. However, in this case, I want to replace the sky, so I'm actually going to start with that, which is on the second tab, Creative, AI Sky Replacement. My sky that I'm going to select is one of the built-in skies. I'm going to choose Dramatic Sky 4, and really quickly, you can see it drops it straight into the photo. And now that I've got that in there, I'm actually finished. I don't need to do any of the additional adjustments, so what I like to do next is go back to the, the first tab, which is called Essentials, and go into the light filter or light tool. This is effectively like raw develop or develop from previous versions of Luminar. And in this case, I'm not going to mess with temperature or tint, but I do want to increase smart contrast. Um, I think that comes in really handy on a lot of photos. I'm going to take the highlights down a little bit and also take the shadows down a little bit. And uh, probably is something about like that. All I'm really trying to do is just create a little bit more impact in the photo. So there's the before and there's the after. I do think the sky replacement helped quite a bit. And then these slider adjustments here in the light tool, I think have gotten me from that to that, which I'm liking better already. And my next filter or tool that I'm going to use is AI Enhance. And I'm going to use AI Accent. And this is wonderful at helping to brighten up some of the darker parts of the photo and give it a little kick. But I'm also going to stick a little bit of sky enhancer on there and let me show you the before and after with this filter alone there's before and after you can see effectively what i've done is i brighten the foreground a little bit and slightly darken the sky with those two filters which i think helps balance the light a little bit in this image now i'd like to add a little bit of detail and crunch to it so i'm going to go to ai structure i'm going to move this up probably about mid 40s, something about like that, and also give it a little bit of boost. So maybe as high as 50. When I'm creating street scene photographs like this, I like to create a little bit of crunchiness or detail in the street. And let me show you that before and after. There's before. You can see the roads a bit smoother, uh, as is the building and that sort of thing. But after, you can see um, it's got a bit more crunch and detail to it. The thing I like about this filter is because AI structure is intelligent. It's not creating a whole lot of noise and crunchiness in the sky, which is perfect. Now, if it did, you can always pop over here to the Creative tab and go back into AI Sky and slightly reduce the focus there, which smooths it out a little bit. That is a slider available in the AI Sky replacement filter. I'm not going to use it here, but that's an idea for you. And at this point, I'm effectively done with the photo. Uh, the only thing I see is there's a little bit of uh, another building sticking out over here. So I'm going to go over to my canvas tools and I'm going to get the eraser. All I want to do really is just do that. Uh, it's very quick and easy to erase. And then you just click the erase once you've highlighted that which you are erasing. And it's gone and I think my photo is finished. So I'm going to hit done and that will take you back into your main editing window. 
Now, if you do want to make further adjustments to your photo, you can do that. You're still in Canvas Tools, but you'll just need to come back down here to whichever tab has the filters you want to use. So just keep that in mind. When you click on these uh, tabs over here, you stay there until you go click on another one. And that's really it. It's a quick and simple workflow for a street photograph. One more time, there's the before, and that is post crop. And there's the after. I actually might come in with the vignette. And I'm going to say choose subject. And I want these gentlemen here to be the subject. And I'm going to add a slight vignette and a little bit of inner light just to kind of further brighten that section of the photo. Let me, uh, I'm going to actually take that down a tiny bit more. And let me show you the before and after. There's before, and this is just on this filter. You can see it's a little bit darker around them. And so they're not quite as isolated, even though technically, um, even though it's a street photograph, kind of a street scene, they are the subject of the photo. And after I brighten that a little bit while darkening some of the other parts, which I think does draw your eye toward those people uh, coming across the crosswalk. And that's really my workflow for this one. I do hope you find it helpful. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon, my friends. Have a great day. Take care and adios.